Hi, Nick, I'm Bertino here with some tips about how to learn piano music more effectively. You know, piano is one of the only instruments that we speak about learning it anatomically, the left hand or the right hand. Yet we don't listen to music anatomically. So why would we want to learn it that way? How do we listen to music? Well, when you're listening to a popular piece of music, or for that matter, even a traditional or a classical piece, you listen to the melody first. That's the part that you would usually sing along to. If there are lyrics to the music, that's the melody. And then the next most important part is the bass, or the lowest notes on the piece, on, on the score. And then finally, we fill in the gap between the melody and the bass with the harmony or the chords. Now, it's not that the chords aren't important, but when you're learning a piece, it's the last thing that you want to learn because the melody always has to be prominent. So we need to know what that is. And then the bass supports the melody and then everything is filled in from there. If you ever sung in a choir, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, and you've worked with a choir director who knows how to drill a choir, what they've probably done is, let me hear sopranos and basses. Let me hear sopranos and altos. Let me hear basses and tenors or basses and altos. They combine those parts. And that is probably the most effective way for you to learn to play the piano, learn to listen to a piece of music. Because the way we learn the piano should reflect the way we listen. So let's go through a piece together a little bit here. This is a wonderful book by a man named William Gillick. Lyric Preludes in Romantic Style. One of my favorite books to use with my students. And the first piece called Forest Murmurs is perhaps a wonderful example of what we're speaking about. I'm gonna shift cameras for you right now. Let's listen to a little bit of this piece of music. And we'll stop there. I played right up to here. So when I go about teaching this to a student, we want to learn the melody notes first. And the melody notes are these. We can tell them in this music because we happen to have stems going up in the piece. You see that? Okay. So the melody in this case would be this. And then the bass notes are the lowest notes on the piece. In this case, it would be the first notes of each measure. And the bass is where the harmony is built upon. So this is my bass note. Pretty boring part, but bass notes usually are. but the bass builds the foundation for the harmony. And now I would practice it by putting the two parts together. I'll practice it again and rebalance the parts a bit so that the melody stands above the bass a little bit. Okay. Now I have two other parts. We'll add in the bass chords, which are these, or harmony in the left hand. 
At this point, you could choose to practice it anatomically, left hand only. However, you should be thinking of it as a bass note with a chord. And now this piece has a wonderful little inside part. So if we were to orchestrate this, perhaps a flute or a violin would have that melody and a, a tuba or a bass, double bass would play the bass part and maybe a little horn section would play those chords. And maybe that little middle trill here would be played by clarinet. And we're trying to give the illusion that the clarinet is doing this the whole time. And here's what it sounds like with that part without the melody. note missed over here but that's okay all right so now we go on and we can put all the parts together let's do the right hand with the harmony part or the clarinet part So that was okay. However, did you notice that the melody note was not as prominent as it should be? Sometimes it blended in with the harmony. So let's try it again and cut the harmony part or that clarinet part back a little bit. Here we go. Ah, that was a much better balance. Now let's practice all the parts together. The right hand melody, the left hand bass note, the left hand chord, and the middle part. Here we go. balanced. So when you practice, make sure you're practicing musically, not anatomically. Always look for the melody in everything you play. Sometimes it's not so simple. It's not the highest part like we have here. Sometimes it's buried in the middle of the piece and you have to bring that out. That's your job as a pianist. So when you practice even your beginning pieces, which for the most part have melodies in the right hand and supporting parts in the left hand, don't think of them as right and left hand practicing, but instead start to hear, hey, I'm practicing the melody right now. Now I'm practicing the harmony of the background. And you will find yourself playing much more musically and with much more expression because you know what parts are important. So remember, be kind to yourself and enjoy the journey.